All right, here's a quick one for you. So I have this absolutely clapped out wheelbarrow here at work. And uh, it's got a lot of problems, but it was free, which is everything I own. Um, but the most immediate problem is that inner tube won't hold air. Now, this is not the original inner tube. Um, someone donated us this wheelbarrow and said, yeah, I think this is uh, a throwaway, but uh, y'all play around with it, see if you can make any use of it. And uh, I am a, I have an empire of clapped out wheelbarrows. So I was the perfect man for the job. So I took this thing in, fabric cobbled um, new braces here for the legs because this thing was sitting in salt water and both the feet wore out. Uh, additionally, most of the wheel is gone because again, sitting in salt water. Uh, the whole bucket was just absolutely smashed in. So I riveted in braces and plastic welded that all back together. And uh, she was working all right, except tire just, the inner tube just wouldn't hold air. It just had plum had a hole in it. So I took this thing home, took a different wheelbarrow that someone else also donated to us that was a, even more clapped out. I scrapped that for parts, took the smaller inner tube and tire off of that one. That one, the entire wheel was just gone. Like it was just one whole half of the wheel was just gone. Just there, there was nothing left down to the hub. Um, pop that one off. Slap, and that, that tube held air. It held air when we got it, and it held air for two years afterwards. So it was a perfect inner tube. Stuck it on there, and I'll be damned if in the process of putting the tube back on here, I didn't catch one of these sharp corners on the bead, and I made sure to put it in from the other side too. Still caught one, pop tube. So I dumped about eight ounces of uh, um, inner tube slime in here that was been kicking around the garage for like 15 years. Put that in there. Uh, had to spin the thing with a drill at like, I don't know, 3,000 RPM. Well, maybe only 2,000 RPM uh, for like 30 minutes. But I finally got it to seal and hold air for like two days. Brought it out here and all the slime drained away from the hole. and Because the hole is on the inside, so you can't actually get the slime to it. Uh, unless you spin it really fast or have some sort of like magic anti-gravity device. Anywho, uh, suffice it to say, uh, this tube is not sealed. So... I want to experiment with something that I've never tried before, and I always wanted to know what it would be like. We're not talking butt stuff. I'm talking about <coughs> gap and crack filler that isn't butt stuff. I'm talking about, you know, spray foam. I'm wondering if I can just pull the valve core out of this, jam this in here, just stuff that inner tube full of spray foam, let it sit for, I don't know, 15 minutes, stick the valve core back in, let cure for a couple days and have a more or less um, uh, never flat uh, inner tube on this thing. And the beauty of this is, it this foam should capture all the air, it should seal off the crack, and even if the foam gets squished, it st should still function more or less uh, like a pneumatic tire, um, as long as I don't throw 150 pounds of cinder blocks in it, which is why I need this wheelbarrow, because I don't want to carry it 500 foot that way. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping this should just fill it up and I won't have to spend any more than the like three bucks I paid for this uh, because uh, this wheelbarrow uh, does not deserve any more money to be thrown at it. And I've already wasted one inner, good inner tube on it. But anywho, um, let me shake this guy up, jam, jam something in there and uh, see if we can make some magic happen. All right, cans all shook, took the valve core out and uh, they must have uh, intended this as a use because it fits perfectly in that valve core. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point this valve core more or less up and then bend it to one side, which I can't really do while holding the camera. Bend it to one side, give it a good healthy squirt, bend it to the other side, give it a good healthy squirt, and just pump as much in there as I physically can. Uh, then uh, we're going to put the valve cap, or then I'm probably just going to jam the valve core in. Um, despite what I just said a minute ago, then the valve cap. Let that sit and just marinate for a day or two and uh, see if it fills this thing up. I have a sneaking suspicion it'll probably overinflate the tire and pop the whole, um, well, the, overinflate the tube, pop the whole tire off the bead, especially considering that there's like a quarter of this bead missing. <laughs> or uh, just split the inner tube apart or something like that. So probably, I'm hoping that this tube has shrunk down enough with a, out having any air in it that's really only about half inflated so that should hopefully keep it from uh, popping the tire off but we will see um, this stuff fills up or expands 
I don't know, about a good, it at least doubles uh, minimum. So I'm hoping it shouldn't be a major calamity, but if it is, uh, I mean, no real loss on my can of foam. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll let you know how much of this stuff I use. Well, I gave that guy an absolutely massive squirt, like probably 10 seconds. And it uh, seems to be working, so I'm going to jam that valve core back in there before too much foam comes out. Uh, just, you know, let it finish burping a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that should hopefully work. But I need to seal that off so it'll actually expand the tire, because otherwise it's just going to push all the air back out through there. So I'm going to get to that. All right, well, that's been done. Um, we'll see if that works. Uh, hopefully that was enough and not grossly too much, or especially not way too little. I um, think it should be just about right. But anywho, um, just some quick tips for working with this stuff, because um, I've used it before. Resist any and all urge to touch the foam. Uh, if it gets somewhere, just let it sit and just foam up. It's way easier to remove this stuff once it cures and it's just a big ball of foam than uh, if you slather it all over the place like I did, scraping it off of the actual wheel itself to get it down there. Because when you scrape it down, it pushes all the air out and then it just sort of becomes like a epoxy crust. Um, and uh, really hard to uh, scrape off. Uh, additionally, uh, if you get it wet, it cures faster. So uh, if you're going to wash it off, wash it off immediately and thoroughly, or you'll just make the problem worse. Oh, and especially don't squeeze the inner tube. Do not squeeze the inner tube, because um, it'll squish the air out of the foam, and then it won't actually expand. So yeah, fun fact. Okie dokie, it's been about six hours. Let's see how she feels. Oh, uh, that, that feels like an inflated tire to me. Ooh, that's a little firm right there. But uh, we'll get over that. Uh, I think I'm going to overload this thing with 100 pounds of cinder block and however many. Another 25 pounds of mulch and uh, see if I can reel her up on that way and uh, dump that stuff out. Or if a tire just blows up. One or two. We'll see. All right, that's somewhere between 120 and 150 pounds worth of stuff on there. And I don't know about you, but that tire don't look flat to me. Well, other than the clapped out frame trying to wrench itself to pieces, the tire held up just fine. It's got a bit of a gate. Seems like most of the foam ended up on one side. So it kind of does this as you go along, but that's with like 130 something pounds in it. Each one of these center blocks weighs like 47 and a half pounds. Um, so yeah, I think that is a success. So uh, I'm glad that worked. I've always wondered whether or not uh, just jamming a can of uh, uh, great stuff down into a wheelbarrow inner tube would fix it or not and uh, now I know it does and that's a lot cheaper in tire slime uh, which seems to work a lot better too but uh, you kind of have to throw the whole wheel well I guess you can just throw the inner tube out because so long as it doesn't like explode out the side of it um, you don't have to you know there's no damage to the tire there's no damage to the wheel it all gets contained within the inner tube for the most part so yeah hope this uh, hope this little quick tip helped you um, if uh, you've tried this before and you've run into any issues or know a better way to do this, come out, drop that down in the comments. And uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, you got to subscribe. So smash that subscribe button. Until next time, time out.